Hi everyone, welcome to Picture Book Mondays with Miss Marie. June is here and we are getting ready for warmer weather and the summertime. So today we are sharing three books with you that have summer in mind. And I can't wait to share them with you. So let's get started. Our first book is called Summer Supper. It is written by Ruben Pfeffer. Pictures are by Mike Austin. And as you can tell that these pictures are very bright and colorful, definitely captures summer with all of the color and the warmth that we feel during that, that season. This book is published by Random House as well. So what's wonderful and great about this story is that it's unique in the fact that every single word that you will read and see begins with the letter S for summer. And what's also wonderful is that the pictures tell more of a story than the words. But this book is also excellent for beginning beginner readers, excuse me, and also emergent readers who are just learning to look at the pictures, to decode words, comprehend words. So this is um, a wonderful story and wonderful book to share with a pre-K class um, and with someone who is just beginning with reading. And like I said, um, the pictures are beautiful. Mike Austin does a wonderful job in capturing the fun of summer and the colors and the happiness and all of the great things that occur during the summertime. Okay, our next story is just a little bit different, but it's called Summer Days and Nights. It is written and also illustrated by Juan Herbert Yee. And the publisher is, let's see, it's Christy, let me see if I can pronounce this right. Christy Ottaviano Books, which is a part of Henry Holt and Company. And in this book, it's a little picture book, but it's perfect because it shows you all of the loves and events that, that happen and occur in the summertime. Going to the beach and building a sandcastle, even waking up in the summer, the warm summer sun going beaming through your window. The pictures are soft, but captures the attention of the child of um, your children. And there are little surprises in each picture. So as you read, you can do almost like an I spy. Um, and this is a great story too, because you can read the story first and then go on a nature walk and you can then discuss what was in the book. Did you also see that in your nature walk outside? Okay, playing hide and seek. And then when the sun, the sun does go down, how the nighttime wakes up in the summertime. There's a lot of night action during the summer as well with different animals. So we hope that you come and take a look at this book as well, Summer Days and Nights. Now my last story is called Mouse's Summer Muddle. This book is written by Anita Lawfrey and it is illustrated by Daniel Harwar. The publisher is QEB Publishing. Well, we meet Mouse here in this story and Mouse, let me tell you, he does get into a little bit of a muddle. He has a little bit of a quandary and a misunderstanding of something. But what's wonderful is that this book is written in rhyme and it has a rhythm that just flows and is relaxing and is nice just like summertime is. And he goes down to the pond to cool off a little bit. And then he sees something sparkling and shimmering on the water. And he begins to ask all of his creature friends that are there, what's that? And they try to figure it out with him and help him. But it's too funny because he is 
becoming and getting into a muddle because he's misunderstanding what's really going on and he's not really sure. Does he figure it out? Look at all these friends that he's meeting along the way and will he get out of his summer muddle? We hope that you enjoyed these stories. I know that we are so excited for summer to arrive shortly and please come down because we have many more books that are on display for summer. We'll see you soon. Bye.